All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Well, today is the day. Unless you've been living underneath a rock, you didn't know that Valheim's Hearth and Home comes out today. It's a major update that they've done. Let me just tell you right now that if you don't want any spoilers, do not watch the rest of this video. All right, so Hearth and Home adds a bunch of new stuff to the game. The main focus of Hearth and Home was cooking and building. So builders got a whole bunch of new building pieces, furnitures ranging everywhere from sturdy single roofs to mighty stone throne. They've also listened to the community feedback and on uh, highly several requested features made their way into the update. You have the ability now to share your map data with other Vikings in the world, which is just fantastic. Find seeds to plant more trees and finally destroy unwanted items with the new obliterator. If taming animals is your thing, well, guess what? You can now tame yourself a lox. And on top of that, you can even name your tamed animals. There's also something dark and mysterious that seems to spread across the plains. So that'll be interesting to find and check out. Let me read you all the changes in the patch notes just so we can go over it. The new version is 0.202.14. This is the hearth and home update. General improvements, weapons have been rebalanced. The blocking system has been overhauled. You can name tamed creatures. There's some gamepad sensitivity now. Auto pickup toggle button has been added. <laughs> nice, I don't have to run around and pick up everything. Uh, graphic settings, they've changed point lights and active light shadows. Tame creatures affected by friendly fire settings. You can't hurt a tame creature unless you enable friendly fire or use a butcher knife on them, which I like a lot. Various other improvements and debug fixes. For food, food was completely rebalanced. Most new items give mainly stamina or health or they give a combination of both. The food uh, graphics user interface has been overhauled to work better with the rebalancing of the food. And there's 12 new food items to actually eat. In the world, once again, tame loxes now have a purpose. I don't necessarily know what that means, but hopefully it is uh, carrying items or using it as some sort of beast of burden. Slimy locations and creatures have been added to the game new plantable seeds birch oak and onions thank you thank you thank you for allowing us to plant birch oak and onions onions just being a new food but birch and, birch and oak man that's a that's a great addition they added some new items in there there's a new crystal battle axe and a silver knife there's some new shields a bone tower shield an iron buckler there's a butcher knife which is a special weapon for butchering animals there's a thunder stone that's sold by the trader and there's a lox accessory, probably saddlebags or something. Maybe, maybe. Uh, the new building pieces, there's new dark wood building pieces like shingle roofs, beams, decoratives, and more. New types of furniture, including but not limited to a mighty stone throne and a steaming Viking hot tub. Crystal wells, new types of stacks to show off your treasures and resources. Cauldron improvement, spice rack, butcher table, pots and pans. There's a calligraphy table now for map sharing with other players. There has been an oven added for baking bread and pies. The obliterator added for getting rid of items. And an iron cooking station required to cook some of the types of meat. All right, well, you know, that's it for this update. I can't wait to get in and play it. I don't know if they listed everything in the patch notes. They did talk about earlier this week not giving away everything so maybe there's some things that they didn't add in the patch notes that we can find but i'm very excited to get into valheim hearth and home and i hope you guys are too thank you guys for watching if you haven't already hit that like button if you're not a subscriber please subscribe would love to have you in the community if you want to follow me on any of my social media you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell that way you know when i go live and when i post new videos i'll talk to you soon thanks a lot Bye bye